Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mufaruma Zodze. You already know, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Today I'll be talking about how to calculate break-even point for two products. Now this is quite easy, seemingly easy. However, um, I have found that it's easy to overlook it, not study thoroughly and even though this, they like to ask break-even point in tests and exams. However, if you don't actually properly prepare for this and um, revise it, you might end up making some silly mistakes, especially because they like to make it very tricky. They're not going to give away these easy marks so easily sometimes. So um, you might think, well, break even point, it's just fixed cost, divide by contribution per unit. But sometimes people forget how to calculate um, for two products because it's a bit different and maybe a little bit more difficult to calculate break-even point for two units as compared to calculating break-even point for one unit I mean for one product never mind my silly um, speech errors okay so I like to use contribution per unit I know there's an option to use contribution percentage but I just like to use contribution per unit because I know that's going to get me um, break even point in units so it's important to it's obviously important to remember that contribution is sales or turnover less variable costs um, you don't want to lose these easy marks because of forgetting some basic information so I'm going to make an example of out of my mind of how I'm going to calculate break even point for two products. Fixed costs are usually given as fixed manufacturing overheads. However, I did a, uh, an example which added your selling and distribution fixed overheads. It makes sense to add this. To your calculation of break-even point because you one thing that is also quite easy to forget is you calculate break-even point for um, based on the number of of units budgeted to be sold so I think it makes sense that this would be based on a budget because the reason for calculating these um, the break-even point is to try and budget and to plan for the future so maybe they have budgeted they're gonna sell um, a thousand chocolate cakes I don't know maybe half yearly or monthly I don't know just an example and they've budgeted that they're gonna sell 5,000 vanilla cakes so usually you'll be given a fixed cost um, usually they're given the amounts of fixed cost so that part is kind of really easy to get let's assume the fixed overheads are um, 1 million so I'm just gonna make fixed overheads 1 million or rather 500,000 <laughs> 1 million sounds too much and then um, let's assume you calculated your contribution per unit for the chocolate cake and you got um, let's make it 50 rand for the chocolate cake and 60 rand for the vanilla cake so the calculation um, will be easy your fixed costs don't change we've set them at 500,000 however the contribution needs to be split according to the ratio of how many chocolate cakes you're gonna sell and how many vanilla cakes you're gonna sell so for chocolate cake it will be 50 rand times 1000 divided by 6000 and for vanilla cake it will be 60 rand times 5000 divided by 6000 oops <laughs> That gives me a country a contribution of eight rand thirty three for the chocolate cake and fifty rand for vanilla cake. Remember, this is contribution per cake. 
So in my calculation of break-even point, I decided to make my total fixed cost 200,000 Rand because it gave a more realistic answer. So I came to 3,428, what, 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 0.76 units. And there's always a mark for rounding up because you can't have half a product or quarter of a product. So you always round up. When you're calculating break-even points it's quite helpful to remember this so eventually you want to split exactly how much is the break-even point for the chocolate cake and the vanilla cake and all you do is just you take this amount and you split it according to the sales mix ratio that gives me and this is the final answer i got five seven one point five which remember you always round up always round up it's actually quite easy but sometimes you know there's a few tricks here and there like sometimes they'll give you um the the actual sales mix or they'll give you the produced number of um units and then you have to figure out how many units were sold so yeah they can be really savage with this and not make it so easy which is why i decided to create this video and i hope you find it helpful thank you for watching don't forget to click subscribe to like comment if you think i left something out comment what you think um thank you for watching bye